You think you know the Goonies? Well, here's 10 things you may not have known about the search for One-Eyed Willie's treasure. And then Willie fled, because he didn't want to stay around, because he knew he'd get killed if he stayed around. And then he got into this cave, and, the, and then the British, they, they blew up the walls all around him, and, and he got caved in, and he's been there ever since. Forever? Forever. And ever? The Goonies was directed by Richard Donner. Sloth's Superman shirt is a reference to Donner directing the Superman film. Donner makes a cameo in Goonies as one of the deputies. The script for the Goonies was over 120 pages, relatively long for a kid's adventure movie. Several scenes were cut from the film, including a sequence where an octopus attacks the Goonies. Data mentions it in the final film, even though it was cut out. What happened out there? Were your life's in danger? The octopus was very scary. Oh, no. Yeah, it was very dangerous. An actual pirate ship was constructed inside of a soundstage. Richard Donner didn't want any of the cast to see it until they shot the scene where their characters find it in order to capture their genuine reactions. However, the cast was so overwhelmed, they had to shoot a second take, which was ultimately used in the film. Oh my god. Oh, wow! Cindy Lauper recorded a song for the soundtrack, The Goonies Are Good Enough. There's a 12-minute two-part music video directed by Richard Donner and featuring cameos from wrestlers Captain Lou Albano and Andre the Giant. Although a film sequel hasn't been made, video game company Konami released Goonies 2, a sequel to their Goonies video game, in 1987. The game follows Mikey trying to free the rest of the crew, who've been kidnapped by the Fratellis. Maybe Chunk is dead! Don't say that! Never say that! Goonies never say die! The film was shot and takes place in Astoria, Oregon. The mayor of Astoria announced that June 7th be named Goonies Day, and the city celebrates it annually. The jail of Fratelli's break out of is now the home of the Oregon Film Museum, which has some memorabilia from the film. Jail, please! He's gone! Oh no! He's really, Don't really be dead! Gone. Don't be dead! Pictures of Pal! You guys! I'd be saved by my pictures of Pal! <laughs> the Goonies was Josh Brolin's on screen debut. Sloth was played by John Mantuzek, former Oakland Raiders player and winner of two Super Bowls. It took him five hours every day to get into the sloth makeup. The Walsh home is a real home in Astoria and has been reported to receive up to 1,500 visitors per day. And here's a bonus one. An actual human skull was used for One-Eyed Willie's head. Director Richard Donner kept it after filming was complete. They got scraped and super duper jumped the eruption and... That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.